Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. How are you today? Today is 9th, 9th of March. Yes, March. Yeah, 9th of March. And I was thinking what to film. I'm always, usually, when I can, I film all my videos on one day. I love to do that that way. And I thought, what, like, I, sometimes it's really, like, you just, there's no inspiration in your mind and you have no ideas, it's just empty everywhere. But then I was like, okay, I don't want to do like a makeup look or anything and so, but I want to talk about some products and so on. And I thought I will talk about brands that I love a lot because of some products of theirs but that I'm really disappointed that they are not cruelty free because now lately I'm always trying to especially buy and spend my money on cruelty free brands that's why I also talk about really unknown new indie small brands on my Instagram where you can go and follow and check them out because usually smaller and newer brands are all cruelty free or even vegan and I want people to buy and get to know like new products which are really worth the money and who also care about the animals and nature and stuff and uh, therefore I thought I would talk about this because there are so many brands that I've been really disappointed that they are not cruelty free because I love their products so much and they are so well known brands everyone of us I think know about and they are so rich, they have so much money, so why are they not cruelty free? Like, it does not make sense, they just want to get more, 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 more money because China means no cruelty free and China has a lot of people, to, a lot of customers, many customers and that's really sad and bad. Maybe we can make China go cruelty free, finally, and don't make stupid law. So let's start. These are just all the brands and products I have right now. I used, I use or used in the last like year kind of. But there are many, many more I could talk about, I guess. But these are just the ones which are in front of me, and I can let you know about. So let's start with uh, drugstore makeup, and then go with to luxury makeup. So first one is Maybelline New York. Mainly New York has a lot very nice mascaras I love. Then Fit Me Concealer is my one of the favorites, which is one of the most affordable, like five euros literally. But yeah, mascaras, concealers, also the lipids are better and better each time. All of these things. Some uh, foundations are really good as well. So it really makes me sad that they are not. The other one is totally like bourgeois. I love their blushes, I have one blush which I use like for so much time and it's like destroyed already but I still use it I have Healthy Mix foundation that it's like one of my favorite I haven't tried but I would want to try the concealers but as I said like I'm kind of slowly going cruelty free so I don't know what to do now and then there have lip base which I really really like and it really makes me sad that they don't go cruelty free I think they would really get much more out of it to go quality free next brand is l'oreal l'oreal paris why are you not quality free they also have really really good mascaras they have very good lipsticks lipsticks how they are good but also they're really really poison poisonous yeah they have really bad ingredients their lipsticks especially and you put it on your lips and so it's really nasty that they have so bad ingredients in them but the quality is really good uh, concealers also i will not i love the too much concealer but i will never buy it because it just i don't know what's inside but it like burns my eyes when i apply it underneath my eye and it just like these ingredients I'm telling you L'Oreal needs to check their ingredient list and change them because they seem allegedly for me really really poisonous um, another thing is uh, skincare products oh how I love their skincare their um, 
mask, yeah, masks, which I'll talk about, clay masks for, for face, they are so great. I have night cream that is like really, really moisturizing. I have morning cream, yeah, morning cream that it's like this red cream which gives like a really nice, like just boosts up your skin kind of, it looks so much better. So really sad about L'Oreal not being. Garnier is next one which I love as well, like skincare, some masks I have tried, some oh, also hair products I have as well tried out. Um, I was really surprised how that shampoo, I thought that it has sulfates, but they, it is not, like, it doesn't have sulfate, sulfates, I don't know how to pronounce it, but you got me. So that's good, but they're not quality free. And yes, I said baby cream, like all kind of products, and uh, yeah, really sad. Next one is the biggest disappointment. It's Wet and Wild, which I bought this highlighter, uh, Mega Glow highlighter, which is like all over the internet. Everyone's talking about it, have talked about it, and it's one of the best affordable uh, highlighters. And I am totally, I agree to that. It's like really great highlighter for that money. And I bought it because it says it's cruelty free and they are lying to you. Because they are either made or they sell in China, which means that they are automatically not cruelty free because China has a law that you cannot make or sell products there and not test on animals. Basically the law is saying you must test on animals. So everything which is in, what is in China is tested on animals, which is really, really sad. So wet and wild, stop lying. Next one, Rimmel, not ha, Rimmel and Revlon, I forgot the Revlon as well, but Revlon have one of the best powders which I would repurchase, I think it's called Colorstay powder, it is so 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 good, I find really difficult to, buy, to find a good, um, a good powders, because many of them, either I don't see like any results of it, or they are really dry, like they look so dry on my skin, my skin looks like really dry uh, underneath that powder. But Revlon really like is a really great powder. And then the Rimmel, which I haven't tried a lot of their products, but I have some, I have tried some lipsticks and they're really good lipsticks, so I'm also really sad that they're not cruelty free. So let's continue with luxurious products. I'm really talking really fast because I have mentioned and gave a like, review about like products and brands on my blog and Instagram, just go check it out, all the links are in the description box. And I don't want to talk like 30 minutes about just like in details about the products, so I'm just kind of rushing. But yeah, luxurious brands, I why sell Yves Saint Laurent is not cruelty free and they have expensive but great products, they have great mascaras, eyeliners, Rouge Wall of Toilet lipsticks, which are my favorite lipsticks, and I would die to get all of them, except if they were cruelty free, but they are not cruelty free. Next one is NARS. I die for their blushes, for their bronzers, come and try their concealers or anything like that. I have heard only the best about their concealers, lipsticks, and so on, but also not cruelty free. The next one is Estee Lauder. Estee Lauder, I have tried their concealer and it is one of the best concealer. Double wear concealer is really great and uh, I have here foundation is also good and I believe that, but again, not cruelty free. Next one is Di Dior at Dior brand which has like so luxurious feminine and beautiful products, obviously it is Dior. And I have tried their Addicted Lash Mascara and it is great mascara, I like it, but not cruelty free. And also for that money, at least you could be cruelty free because, well, it it's kind of the same as L'Oreal mascara in the quality, in the way. And then uh, there is MAC, and MAC I haven't really, I don't have, like, I haven't had a lot of opportunity to try it out. I would. I always had this dream to have these lipsticks which are so famous all over the world to have but I haven't and MAC is like a queen of all the makeup and I even read that it used to be cruelty free but it's not anymore probably because of China and that makes me sad really like you could just all ban on China and make them change their law like come on like change it this 
2020 is all about changes, all about uh, being better towards environment, animals, nature, like, step up your game. <laughs> really, but I have tried Studio Fix Fly <coughs> Foundation and it's really good foundation, really, really, really good. Next one's By Terry. By Terry uh, is a great brand in the way that I'm really thankful I had the opportunity to try the, some of their products as their ambassador. Now they are so high and so big that obviously they will not send me anything anymore. But <laughs> but I was happy to try their. Um, they had I, they don't have any more, but they had like Sun Designer palette, which is like so beautiful. It's like it has blush. Highlighter and bronzer in it, and it's a really beautiful palette. And I have tried also Cover Expert foundation, which is really thick and good coverage foundation. And yeah, it looks really good, but not cruelty free. And as the last one is Kalinic, which makes me sad because when I tried their even better foundation, it is one of the best. I am not a huge foundation fan, I don't like the feeling of it, I always feel like it's so heavy, my skin cannot breathe, but, but even better, I don't have this feeling, it feels very light, but at the same time it has very good coverage. So when I discovered that I kind of got interested into other products as well, also skincare, I hope here they have the best skincare. And I, But they are not cruelty free and it makes me really sad and I don't understand. And this is the last one, the last brand I will mention today. And I don't understand why these luxurious brands cannot go cruelty free, what's your problem? Jeffree Star is cruelty free and vegan. I think it's cruelty free, right? I know that they are vegan, I think it, they are cruelty free as well. And he's a millionaire with his brand, so it is possible, you don't like... The fact that Chinese, like there are so many Chinese, it doesn't mean that you will not like... And there are so many people now that only go vegan and cruelty free, so you will get those people on your side as well. So why are you not cruelty free? And for the last thing, I want you who are watching this video to let me know in the comment section down below if it's important for you if bread is cruelty free or it's not important for you. I'm telling you that I kind of, um, how to say, it's important for me, it's, I'm probably a little bit hypocritical, it's very important for me and I'm trying to go more and more like making my percentage of makeup and skincare cruelty free as much as I can, but at the same time I'm, I'm like so obsessed with makeup that I sometimes want to try out and test the product which is not like cruelty free. But also I think that gives me this experience to show you that, for example, okay, I have tried this not cruelty free product and this cruelty free product and this cruelty free product is as good or better than non cruelty free product. And it's like this experience I'm having and I can tell you and be like, you know, like it doesn't make a difference and you can go, cruel, you can buy cruelty free products because their quality is the same or better is no quality free brands or products so I think in that way also I gain experience and I can like give you my kind of opinion and my results to you and it helps as well like just so like excuse kind of why I sometimes do talk about uh, no quality free products kind of but I know that I do want to go and talk about more of more of these quality free products and brands. And let me know if you like this videos video and if you want to know more about no quality free and cruelty free makeup and differences and brands and so on because I how I have thought to do a blog post as well about but about uh, no cruelty brands who have lied about being cruelty free brands. So that's also really exciting and yeah, let me know if you liked it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't yet and see you next time guys, bye!